Good morning and welcome to Thanksgiving's Day in Winnipeg. Yep, today is officially Thanksgiving's Day in Canada, I think. <laughs> now, apparently yesterday I got it wrong. I was mentioning something about Thanksgiving's Day in the UK. And the reason I thought that they had Thanksgiving's Day is because I, I Googled it. I said, when? Well, actually, I didn't type it. I just talked to the computer. I said, when is Thanksgiving's Day in the UK? And up came some sort of a date, and I didn't read all the details. <laughs> so I thought they had one. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. Apparently, uh, they, they're sort of, you, you have sort of a harvest festival or something like that. One of the viewers mentioned, commented. Uh, yeah, thank you for everybody who corrected me on that. <laughs> okay. Sun just came up. Not spectacular, but at least we can see it. Now, um, what I plan to do today is, it seems to me I plan to do this, uh, uh, a couple of days ago already, but I, I want to uh, try and get these two halves together, and uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm still undecided as to how to glue them together. Uh, I right now I'm leaning towards extra thin quick setting and just sort of working my way all the way around until I get it done. It 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 doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be completely glued all the way around. If I find I have little gaps, you know, like 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 where this piece fits in in here, there's there's going to be a horrendous gap going on there that I'm going to have to seal up anyway. So as long as I'm messing around with the model putty, it, it's not going to take a whole lot of extra work to sort of smear it in little places where where the where the plastic isn't actually tight together. If you know what I mean. But as long as I'm, I'm guessing as long as it's at least half of it is 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 glued together, and it will be more than half of it will be probably ninety percent of it will be. It's going to be very strong. It's not going to fall apart. It, it doesn't have to be like it was one piece coming out of the mold. Um, and oh, uh, some some people were wondering uh, why why was it that it didn't all come in one one big long uh, section. In other words, the hull is in one piece. Uh, well, it's it's because it's, this this part has has too many. Uh, it has it has too many contours going on. Too many compound, too many compound curves, and it would be too hard for them to get this this bulbous bow and this nice slim part here uh, uh, all, all done at once at one time even with slide molding it just it just won't work uh, I don't I maybe I'm trying to get into something that I'm not too familiar with uh, but I kind of I kind of know how slide molding works but if slide molding would, wouldn't work on something like this not this type of shape so in order to the only other way would have been Instead of to so that you'd have two pieces instead of three pieces, it would have been to have the entire hull in two pieces, kind of the way the the uh, the new Yamato kit is. Uh, that that might might have been different. It might have been better. I don't know. Uh, uh, at least at least you wouldn't have this this seam along the side. Uh, and spe speaking of the Yamato kit, I haven't given up on that. But I, I have had some thoughts about it, and that is that if I was to get it, not only is there is there a, the expense, you know, I don't know how much it's going to cost landed here in Winnipeg, but uh, every everything like this costs extra up here in Canada to what it is in other parts of the world, uh, and. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing it's it's going to be with taxes. It's going to be pushing maybe uh, eight nine hundred dollars Canadian dollars, and it it could be worse. I don't know. It, 
Uh, you know, if, if it's really, really popular and the hobby stores know that they're going to be able to sell that thing as, as soon as they get it in, they're going to be charging the, the full price. And, and you don't blame them. You know, you don't blame them. That's, that's, that's the way it is. Uh, but, but anyway, so, so I am very seriously thinking of, of still getting it. But not only is there the cost involved, but then there is the aspect that if I know I've got it standing over there leaning up against the fireplace, like where the Iowa was for several months, uh, am I going to tend to rush the end of the Iowa so that I can get into the Yamato? Uh... I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if maybe that happened with the Rodney. Because at the end, I was cutting corners. Uh, now, when you first walk up to the case, you you know, it, it looks fine. But uh, if, you, if I walk up to the case and I really scrutinize and really get in there, I can see, well, I... I could have done this a little better, you know, and would, would, will I end up rushing our Iowa so that I can get at the Yamato if I know I've got it in the stash? And yet, a, a, model, a model maker without a stash is sort of like, I don't know what, what, what you could say is similar. I mean, it, it, it don't get worse than that. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, sort of move on today. There there is no rollback. Uh, I made it back from the Thanksgivings dinner, our family Thanksgiving dinner, and we had it was delicious. You know, for me who never really cooks for myself it, to to that extent and makes anything fancy other than pizza. I mean, the pizza is about as fancy as I get. And and we had uh, oh my goodness, we had turkey, we had ham, we have pierogies and scalped potatoes and mashed potatoes and gravy and uh, so, sort of a, a, a sweet salad, uh, um, you know, the, the kind you mix marshmallows with, that kind of stuff. And uh, it, 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 it was just magnificent. And uh, yeah, my, my daughter did a wonderful job. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, what was I going to say? I, 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 I ate, I went up about three pounds. <laughs> I, you know, I guess what happened was, like I did weigh myself this morning. And I was, I was three pounds heavier than I was yesterday morning at the same time. So I think what happened was when I came home, I was kind of thirsty from all the, you know, the ham and stuff like that. And I was, I was drinking the water like crazy. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, today I'm going to, we're not going to have pizza today, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, today is officially Thanksgiving Day, but yesterday we had our celebration. Anyway, yeah, most of the, most of the Canada people won't be going to work today. Well, maybe a lot of them will be, because I think there's some stores open. Somebody has to work, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's all about money these days. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh, re recompose here, and uh, let's get this together. I want I want to see this stuck on the end of here by the end of today. So uh, here we go. Okay, so in order for this to be a nice strong joint, we want to have these, you know, they, they, we don't want them, you know, offset like that. We want them as flush as possible. So I think what I'll do, I'm just going to hold it here. Or, or maybe what I should do is just, just let it be slightly loose and let the, uh, 
let the glue wick in maybe from the back here just drop it down and then and then squeeze it together yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna I'm not gonna worry too much about the bottom I want to be careful I don't put too much on and have it go running right down through now you'll notice that here on the bow there's a, a bit of detail and and too much of this glue will actually dissolve that and you're gonna lose that sharp detail it'll become kind of rounded off okay well as, as near as I can tell everything looks good here so we'll just we'll just start here I'm not gonna hold it tight together I'm gonna just have it loose together suppose I could probably use one of my one of my clamps here on that I should have had it ready sometimes trying to do stuff on camera doesn't always look too looks kind of awkward Oh my! Maybe maybe I'm squeezing it too hard. There, you can see where where the uh, where the uh, plastic is oozing out. Maybe maybe I've got it too hard. Well, one thing's for sure: when when this when this dries. It's going to be a, a very strong joint because, at least right here, because the plastics, uh, you know, they're welding together or melding together, as I like to say. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, push stop here and uh, wait a bit. Okay. I have repositioned here a little bit, and I just want to make sure that I've got everything adjusted just right now. I'll probably put this on here, but I, once once again, I don't want to squeeze it too hard and ooze, you know, deform anything by oozing too much plastic out. We just want to hold it shut here. And uh, yeah, the, the, when it, when I was positioned the other way, I was finding it kind of awkward, and I was trying to be careful not to bang the bow up into the lens here. Um, okay, so. Now remember, this is not a tutorial. This is just the way I happen to be doing it. I'm going to put on my other glasses here, I think. I noticed about uh, 10 minutes ago, the garbage truck went by, and so we were talking about how who was working and who wasn't. Is this going to want to come apart when I release it? Let's see. Yeah, it is. You know, I was, I was just wondering, how would it be if I was to drop it down from the inside? Somebody recommended uh, the uh, Tamiya White.
No, it doesn't have to be real tight. Just just snug enough that it's not gonna wanna come apart all by itself. Th these are not the best clamps, but they're all I've got. Okay, right, right in here is where I was kind of upset with myself. I just get it to go in there. Okay, I'm guessing about 10 minutes has passed here and I've uh, put a rubber band around the end and removed this clamp and um, I think that's going to hold it. I, I don't think it needs to be held any longer. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is all hard. This is where the, uh, where the uh, plastic was oozing out. I can feel the bumps. They're, they're a little bit soft, but not, not really what you would call in other words, I think it's safe to probably take this clamp off, although I, I, I do believe I'm going to leave it on. And uh, now we'll just move, move our way to the, to the bow here. And uh, maybe turn everything over here. Would that be better? And maybe work from the ends from the top down, or thinking out loud here again. Well, I, I do believe it's safe to take this off now. I'm, I'm not noticing any change when I when I squeeze this. Maybe if I put the macro lens on, I might. Now, right, right here. Okay. If if I was just get it to glue really, really well here, that would also hold it together here a little bit. Well, no, not really. No, that's going to be a. That's going to be a little bit separate. So it has to be squeezed here and squeezed here. Oh, the garbage truck's coming back down the other side of the street now. Um, yeah, I, I guess the sanitation people, they, they don't get holidays. wonder how that works, because our garbage day is always the same day of the week. So, uh... You know, if if they took the day off, our our, our recycle and garbage day would would, would uh, the number would change. Okay, let's continue on here. Okay, I had uh, tried to do this originally on camera, and I realized that I wasn't going to be able to do a very good job and video it at the same time. So I've gone ahead here and I used uh, the extra thin, not the quick setting. I used the extra thin in here and also down in here and I dropped it in from the inside. And I, what I did was I used the uh, hypodermic needle to do it. And um, then on, I was noticing that on, on the very, very uh, knife edge here where the clothespins are, it wasn't closing together too well, so I used the extra thin quick setting and I held it for a while with my fingers and then I put the uh, close pins on. Um, yeah, sorry I couldn't video that, but that's what happened. Okay, I've overridden my light meter here a little bit, or my auto ISO, so that it will sort of lighten up this hull red here. Now, one of the viewers suggested that for this particular boat, ship, uh, that we use the uh, Tamiya LP18 Dull Red. 
Now, it is available at the hobby store, but not in a rattle can. But but the uh, you can get it in a in a, uh, a jar of it. But uh, yeah, that, that might be a good idea. It is a it is a lacquer paint, and I'm kind of you know uh, hesitant to use lacquer spray inside the house. Now maybe we'll have some nice warm days yet when we, when it comes to spraying the hull, which will probably be uh, I don't know. I'm guessing maybe in a week. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate. Anyway, why do I have Gabe's uh, uh, thingamajiggy here? Okay, the reason for that is to remind me to say that uh, G uh, Gabe made a comment, and he said something about the holes in the bottom of the hull, and I think I misunderstood what he said. Now, w were you talking about these holes here? Um... Yeah, there, there's holes here and there's holes here. Yeah, that that is for bracing for the for the uh, deck above. Uh, I think that's what uh, that's what you said in your comment, and I I misunderstood you, and I said no, it isn't. <laughs> but yeah, the, these these are actually for a brace that goes in, and uh, and then that helps to support the deck. Um, if we're talking about the same thing. All right. Um, bottom line is I want to do a better job on this one than I did on the Rodney. I will not be using the XF-56 anywhere on this boat, I don't think. Uh, I noticed that Jim Steen is using it, though, uh, on his, uh, he's building a, uh, two and a half ton truck, uh, two and a half ton army truck. And, uh, he, 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 he bought this, uh, this stuff. I think he's going to use it on his motor. Anyway, uh, yeah, the, the XF-56 does look good on metal. No, no question about that. But it looked terrible on the, well, well, not really terrible. It kind of looks good from a distance on the Rodney. Uh, everything that I painted with that. I guess I got really stubborn once I started. I just wanted to keep at it and keep using the same thing. I'm noticing here, though, that the they do have the, the dark blue for the deck. Now, that I don't like. I'll just tell you right now, even though it's the way it is, I just, I just don't like it. I think I would rather have some sort of a, you know, a teak deck look to it, you know. Uh, uh, there must be some time during the Iowa's life when it had a, you know, a, uh, like deck tan or something. Okay, let's uh, uh, check this now. I think enough time has passed that we can take our clothes pegs off and uh, see if that seam uh, separates. I hope not. Okay, here we go. Is this going to open up on us or is it going to stay shut? Well, don't go poking at it. Okay, I can see where uh, where I could probably put a little bit of uh, uh, putty in that when I'm working with my putty, just just a little bit, before I do the sanding. Yeah, and and we'll ne we'll never even see that little see that little gap there. Let, let's look uh, at the bow here. Okay, we've got. I can't squeeze that together. I think it's a case of it's just, you know, it, it's the way the plastic was molded. And uh, we've got some flashing on here that we can get rid of. That'll make it look a little better. And I'll get that later, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I don't think there's a whole lot I can do about squeezing this together and getting rid of that that gap there because you know right right down here it, it already is squeezed together so it just just the way that the part is made so that wasn't my fault for a change um, there all right 
it. I can probably do a better job of cleaning this up off camera later. Um, what I want to do now is uh, see if our... Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. My peripheral vision is gone here. I'm wearing my uh, magnification hood. Okay. Uh, yeah, what I want to do right now is... Uh, uh, see how the deck is going to mate up with this before we glue this part onto the main hull. Okay, so the idea is to get both of these pieces fitted on the hull and then see how it's going to come. Uh, oh, this one's upside down. Don't want to go through that again. Okay. And I don't think I need to leave them in the plastic. This is one beautiful big ship. Okay, so if I don't move the hull, everything should stay in the field of view here, and I can just sort of work at this. can't see it but but this end down here is is perfect okay so now I wonder if, I, if there's some way I could keep that from moving I, I don't think it's going to slide I think it's going to stay there Okay, now right here it's perfect. Okay. Now this is where I was concerned that it may not want to fit right. Okay, I was concerned that if I had the bow section too far back that it, it was going to, uh, that this might not fit in here. That's, that's what I was talking about before, but I, I don't think we need to worry about it. I, I think as long as we can get, it, get the, uh, the seam along the side butted up, I think it's probably going to line up pro uh, properly. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, this, uh, you know, Tamiya did, uh, Tamiya, Trumpeter did a wonderful job of getting these parts to match together. I, I, know, I know I was impressed with that sort of thing uh, a lot uh, with the other three ships that I built. There were certain things that I thought they must have done a lot of uh, tweaking to get their molds just right so that when this 
hot plastic came out of the mold and would prob probably shrink a little bit or, you know, when it cooled, I imagine. So you, you would have to allow for all this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, they did a great job. Uh, I know I complained a lot about the manuals, but uh, uh, as far as the parts go, generally speaking, I, I think they did a fantastic job. Like, there's, there's, there's very little flashing to clean off on this. Um, so far from what I can see of this particular kit, uh, if you want a, a really large 1-200 scale that is probably half the price or less of the Yamato, uh, and, and it's actually a tiny bit longer than the Yamato, not 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 wider. Uh, you know, you can get yourself a really impressive ship like this, and and uh, and it's affordable. Uh, that's my opinion. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get this fastened on here yet. What do we got here? It's almost one o'clock, pretty soon. Oh, we were going to we were whoops we we were going to uh, see if we could get rid of this uh, whatever it is here, just for the fun of it. Let's uh, I'll just try some isopropyl on that. Yeah, that was probably some kind of mold release. I'll be wiping the entire hull down anyway really good before I before I paint it, so... Yeah, okay. Okay, this is the uh, the glue that I'm going to use. Is, is this what that person meant when he said he'd use the Tamiya white? Did he mean the white top? Because this, this is what I've got. And this is what I'm going to use on, on this particular joint here. It's, it doesn't dry nearly as fast. And what I want to do here is I want to have some sort of tension going on that's going to hold hold the uh, the bow in all the way. And uh, so so what I'm going to do this, this doesn't have to be real tight. We don't want to break anything. Okay, what I was thinking of is if I have, I'm just doing a dry run here, obviously. If I put rubber bands The reason for the clamps is because I want to have something to be able to hook onto. Now, I don't want it to lift the bow up either, but right, right now that's that's just about perfect. And and when we glue it down, we're going to want to make sure that where the, uh, you may call it the gunnel here, it's, it's flush all the way along, and actually right now it is. As I said before, to me it did a, a great job. Okay, I'll get it right eventually, folks. Trumpeter did a great job of getting the, these parts to line up well together. Um, okay, I, th I think that's the way we're going to go here. Let's let's just go for it. Um, you know, you know what happens Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, right? I get a coffee visitor, so I'm going to have to cut this episode off pretty quick here. Okay, I basically only get one shot at this because if I glue it on wrong, I am screwed. Okay. If I get too much on, I can always sand it off later.
Okay, so maybe I should look at the other side what's going on here. That looks alright. One of these days I'm going to stand up, my chair is going to roll back and I'm going to sit on the floor. Okay. Well, there we go folks. We uh, got it glued on. I think uh, I'm going to leave it, I'm not going to put any stress on it now for a few hours because this stuff does not it's not extra thin but it I could tell by the feel of it it's already starting to uh, you might say solidify so we're gonna leave this for the morning so uh, thanks for watching everybody and all being well we'll be seeing you in the morning <laughs>